What's up, Libra? Welcome to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. I'm so happy you guys clicked in to my energy. Hopefully, Libra, this message has something for you. But either way, we're going to go ahead and build up this foundation, see what's going on with this relationship with you and your person. Beloved, what's up with the Libras and their person, please? Let's go ahead and build this foundation up for Libra. So we have strength, justice, abundance, luxury, pleasure, the costume designer, fortitude, gain, the activist. I guess I got a little sideways there, huh? And... Oh, wow. Crowning the reading as the Five of Pentacles. Libra, what's going on? So at the foundation, I see that there is a third party situation that may be bugging you, Libra. It looks like it's taking all the strength of, in the world for you to try to deal with this connection because... I don't know, at times this person shows you a lot of uh, love, a lot of affection, but then it's like they go cold on you, and then you're left and you're wondering, well, what the hell? And it's primarily because of those times when they're not with this other person, or they make their time available, is when, is when they come deal with you, beloved. And I'm sorry to say that, but... It just kind of is the energy. You know, I see that. I see that somebody went into this, um, this situation with like a blindfold, or not really being intentional about they, what they wanted, what they expected of this person, but kind of um, in this energy of we're just going to see what happens. And when you're not intentional in the beginning of what you're looking for, you kind of find yourself spending more time with someone and falling in love with them and all that type of stuff. So I see that someone wasn't intentional and in stating exactly what they want, what they needed from the situation. The other thing I'm getting, Libra, is this person is kind of all over the place like you're not just theirs and they're not just yours and this other person's not just theirs but there's other people but once again this is a person that spreads their energy around and it's kind of unfortunate because I see that at one time it was supposed to be you and them but it just didn't work out that way Libra I see you know it's this energy of you trying to play into this role, into this this game that they want you to play with them. And what's the, what it's doing is zapping all your energy from other things that you could be spending your time and energy on. Because this person seems to drain a lot of your energy. Um, this person could be married, Libra. And the thing about it is, once again, it's not just you, but it's other people too. Somebody could be drinking a lot, be um, drinking a lot of alcohol, a lot of um, doing a lot of drugs to try to deal with this matter. I'm definitely picking up the energy of a lot of wine or champagne or something like that. But somebody's doing a lot of drinking, trying to deal with the situation. Someone also could be feeling like this person is totally like leaving them out in the cold, not making a choice, not making a decision, but kind of just leaving them sitting there. Someone feels alone a lot or like um, they're not a part of this person's life. And it's like they're they're trying to, to find out why or find the answer why. But it seems as if like it's going to take for you to be strong enough, Libra, to either leave or walk away from the situation. Because I don't see this person really giving to the situation. I see this person kind of wants to play the field on both sides of the situation. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and get into my Real Talk Oracles and kind of see... What else you need to know about this person, Libra? Beloved, what's going on? What else does Libra need to know about this person? What else does Libra need to know about this person? All right. So 
so we have we have brothers we have music we have spirituality we have my stalker we have heart hurting we have the homies we have stand high as fuck well let's bring that one down here so you guys can kind of see it we have domestic violence we have lost we have illegal hustle mother divine feminine under investigation and crown in the reading I'll say is collapse oh my goodness Libra so it's a couple things that's going on within this person this person right like they know that you're worth right they know that you're like a divine feminine energy but the thing is like i said they deal with a lot of other stuff like they might have a history of domestic violence domestic abuse you know sometimes what they say rejection is god's protection sometimes we think we know someone until we get in a relationship with them you know and for me it feels like this energy of this person has a history of um domestic violence not only that this person also has someone in their energy that's stalking them or whatnot this person could uh, wow this could have been the person that they've been violent with libra and my thing is this they they are this type of person that have grown up in uh impoverished environment or somewhere where it was poverty written they've seen a certain type of woman a certain type of behavior certain type of of context to women that i don't know i don't know if they don't respect women or kind of what the situation is right because i see what they hold as valuable is is their friends right their friends things like that their friends are the ones that had a big influence on them with this the homies card like this is the, these are the people that influence this person you know they can also have um you know a uh, older brother younger brother or something like that that's a big influence on them so this person is influenced to do a lot of things currently this person is under investigation for whatever this illegal hustle is they doing like they're doing something they know ain't right and it might cause them some type of jail time or something like that this person is also a person it seems like that um tries to cope by using drugs using um sex and also using spirituality and i know that's like um on different ends of the spectrum but this seems like a type of person that's kind of all over the place not really grounded this person can um do music or be listening to some type of music that that influences their behavior um anytime you can get into um what is it called into like meditation music and gain some type of of insight or something like that it's the same way with secular music like you know it does something to your spirit so i don't know i feel like i feel like this person currently is trying to cope with a situation i'm not sure if it's it's a past situation some with their mom or something like that but it seems like it's playing out in their relationship with women or their relationship with men's however um that goes also libra what i'm kind of picking up for this person is that this person like covers tries to cover up their emotions they don't let too many people into their heart space just because they don't trust anyone with their heart okay but let's see what what else is going on with libra's person what else does libra need to know what else does libra need to know please what else does libra need to know please thank you so much
please give me another chance. We have Taurus. I am unhappily married. Can I still have you? They have too many kids. I admire you as a person. And I really miss you. I wish you were here with me. So, like I was saying before, this person has somebody else. They are either married or in a long-term relationship, but they're not happy in it. But, you know, for them to leave whatever this relationship is, it's going to cost them a lot. You know, what I don't like about this person, this person is kind of talking about their person like they have too many kids. They don't clean up. They don't wash clothes. They don't take care of the house. They this, they that. So, they're trying to put this other person down in order to try and make the situation seem like something it, it isn't but they're saying that they do admire you as a person like I said they know that you're a divine feminine and that you um that you exude that divine feminine energy but their whole thing is they just want you to continue to play their game Libra that's the thing with this person okay so let's see what else does Libra need to know? What else? What else does Libra need to know, please? What else does Libra need to know about this person, please? Thank you. So, Journey, I was also picking up this energy like you guys could be at a distance from one another or you guys have to travel to see each other. Yeah, someone's definitely at a distance, but someone's hoping and wishing and praying that they can see each other. And then this pathway and house, I feel like I feel like you feel like home to this person, Libra. But I mean, the opening's just not there for you to. They have to literally leave something in order to be with you. And this is what this journey card is about. This could be a twin flame journey or something like that. But it's like this person has so far to go to be ready for a relationship. So far to go to be ready for something that's real. And do you really want somebody that will leave somebody to come to you? Because guess what? They're going to do the same thing to you. Either way, Libra, that's the reading I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Definitely leave me some comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. And I'll see you next time. Take care.